Hey, Kent. So, I gave my girlfriend this gift, and she didn't like it for some reason. Hmm. That's weird. You know, maybe gifts weren't her love language. What the heck is that? We're gonna find out today. So, we took a quiz, and we figured out which love language was us, so now we're gonna explain them to you. So I found out that my love language was acts of service, so I feel most loved when my mom cleans my room for me without me asking. See, I love it when that happens, but I found out my love language is quality time, and I love it when people just take the time out of their day to make me feel important and spend time with me. So I took the quiz as well and found out that my love language was words of affirmation, which basically means I love when people tell me like I did a good job at something or that I look good today or they love my hair, which I hear a lot. Um, so yeah, that's what words of affirmation is. Well, your hair looks really good today. <laughs> wow, thank you. <laughs> so my love language, I actually had a tie, so there's like, there's two ways to love me, you know. Um, the, one of them is physical touch, which means I just feel really loved when people come up and give me hugs, and also receiving gifts. So when people go out of their way to just get something for me, I feel really loved. Is my presence a gift for you? No. Oh. So you might be thinking, why do I need to know them? I'm in high school. Why should I know my friends' love languages? That sounds like something just for married people. But if you know your friends' love languages, you can love them better because you can speak their love language. Also, you guys are going to have better communication because if you do something for them that is your love language and maybe it's not theirs, then they're not going to like feel the love that you were putting out. You know? Yeah. And because of that, you'll have a deeper relationship and a deeper friendship. Mm -hmm. So we got three simple steps to figure out what a person's love language might be. Wyatt, you want to take the first one? Yep, sure. So the first one is to observe their behavior. So look at the ways that they respond to certain types of love and the way that they give you love. And you should be able to kind of narrow it down to what they are. Second one is listen to what they complain about. If they're like, hey, Tiffany didn't give me a hug, then that means like they're probably their love language is touch. Yeah, kind of to go along with that one, the third one is like to pay attention to what they ask for. So like if you go on a trip and they ask like, hey, bring me back a gift, well, like a, like a postcard or something like that, it's probably gifts. That's probably their love language, you know. So why? Did you learn anything today? Yeah, actually I did. Uh, I think my girl's love language is quality time, so that's actually where I'm going to get right now, so. Nice. He really applied his knowledge. So make sure you talk about this with a group or a mentor using the discussion questions below. Give this channel a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.